I recommend when you're getting started on any of these assignments to first make a copy of your original data so that you're working on the copy and you'll always have the original to go back and check. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to go down to the bottom and click on my Home Data tab to select that worksheet, then right click and I'm going to say Move or Copy and then I'm going to create a copy. And so now I've got a copy of my data and I can feel a little more comfortable playing around with that. When you're creating a scatter chart with Excel, Excel doesn't really know what you intend. It assumes that the data on the left column is what you want on the x-axis and the data in the right column is what you want on the y-axis. Now here, our home price is over here in column B and we want that to be our Y, so we need to make room to take the living area and put it to the left of home price. So what I'm going to do here on my copy of my data is to insert a blank column. Then I'm going to go here to living area, select that column, column J, control C to copy it. Go over here, click on a, a B1, control V, control Victor to paste the area in there. Now I've got my data set up the way I need it for my scatter chart. Now to create my scatter chart, I want to select these two columns and I'm going to first select the headers there and then control shift down arrow, excuse me, and that selects all of the rows that I want. Then I can just go to insert, charts, and it wants the scatter chart there. If you don't see scatter chart, you can go to all charts and then go down and select scatter. And I want this one. So I'm going to select that and click OK. And now it's put my chart, unfortunately, down at the bottom. And so what I'm going to do is just Control X and go back up to the top, scroll up there and then select the cell and control V to have my chart there. Now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to drag this over here a little bit so we can see. I want to add my trend line and equation. And all I do is click on the plus up here, chart elements, and then click on trend line and get the triangle there to get my options. And I'm going to go to More Options. Move this over so you can see. It opens up a menu over here in the very far right. And I want to display the equation and my R squared value. You'll need this for later on on my chart. And so there's my basic chart. I can move that around so I can see it. So that's your basic scatter chart with your x-axis. And we want to label those, so we're just going to click on this, and I want to access title. And this is area, highlight it, and this is price. So now you've got your basic chart. Hope this helps.